Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are still here at Kaja Nori, and still going through the maintenance missions. These are ongoing, but these are definitely a plus because they're getting us more capable of fishing here, getting us more gear, getting us more vocations, so it's definitely a plus, plus it's getting us all kinds of cash. So, what we're going to be taking part in at this point is the Fish Finder 360, the mid-size calibration mission. So we need to catch seven of these between 44.1 and 132.3. It's not going to be that easy, but I think I know what to do here, guys, because I can't use any of my lighter gear. There's too much of a chance of getting something that's way too big. We've got two rods that can pull this off. It doesn't really say how you have to do it, so we're going to try bottom and lure fishing both. I'm going to use this using a pilker to catch them, and I'm also going to use this rod, the other sea rod, and bottom fish for them, using the smallest of the uh, saltwater curve hooks possible, because we don't want them to be too big. And we've got the Japanese Jack Magro. I'm just going to basically use a bait that's kind of an all-around bait. There's plenty of those. You could probably use the finger mullets. Uh, Japanese flying squid. Probably the medium fish strips. Scaled sardines. Any of these we could probably use and get what we were looking for. And I think with this we will also do the same thing. And we've got three pilkers we can use. All right now I'm using the medium size one that I have, but there's a smaller one here we could try to use at 2.45, and we've got a larger one here at six ounce with an eight ounce hook. We're just gonna get, give it a try. There's only seven this time, not 15, so that's a little bit easier. Not a lot easier, but a little bit easier. Now this was where we had ended up in the last episode, and this is a really good spot for medium sized fish, to be perfectly honest. So what I'm going to first do is put out my bottom rod and just go ahead and throw it out there and put it about, it doesn't have to go all the way down to the bottom either, just maybe about middle, middle of the road, which is what we're after anyway. There we go. I do want to take a look at the, yeah, we do still see fish I'm trying to decide if we might need to go this way a little bit more because we're right on the fringe it looks like I think we may be all right just see we'll just see well, let's get out our pilker now I can't throw this out really really far but should be able to cast it out far enough to get something's attention. Now I'm going to let it drop to about halfway and then start reeling it in. Oh shoot, I got it way too fast. Now we're not at the peak, so we may not get as many bites at this point. Plus it's a cloudy day. Might behoove us to go to night or midday during a peak. Ooh, something hit it. 
so we almost got our first bite. I think it's just a matter of patience here, as it always is with fishing. Alright, it sounds like we may have something on here. So, let's see just how big it's going to be. Hope it's not, not too big. Whoa, 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 okay. Whoa, what do we got? Okay, I think our lead leader might be a little bit too small. Let's... Ooh, a trophy green jobfish. He's not big enough, but that's the biggest one I've caught so far, guys. Very nice. Very nice. I've... There is another one to mark off. Awesome. We're getting some better light. Yeah, the cloudy days make for poor lighting, unfortunately. That's a pretty good sized fellow, but he's not big enough to, to count, unfortunately. What is going on with this lure? Hold on, let me take a look here. How in the world did I get a 81.5 pound titanium lead on there? <laughs> Gotta fix that. I must have grabbed the wrong one or something. Let's see here, we've got much bigger than that, there we go. Maybe what I did wrong. No, I grabbed the titanium one. How did I do that? That's just crazy. Alright. That would have been really ugly. Alright. Obviously it was a little bit too deep. If we keep getting them about that size, we may have to upsize our hook a little bit. But, actually, before I do anything, let me go to my map and mark this. Because I want to be able to catch Job fish of unique size, too, eventually. I've still got to get a trophy ruby snapper, too. I'm kind of wondering if maybe they're having a hard time seeing this. Let's put this double hook pilker on here and it's being blue, it might be a little bit more visual. The green one... I think it might be blending in a little bit. Let's let it go out a little bit. Not too far. We don't want it to go too deep, if we can keep from it. I did get a bite off the other one. Alright, man, we're just really getting bites off of this one, but I think, well, we'll see here. It might be big enough, hopefully. Yeah, this might be big enough, guys. I think we might have one. It's going to meet what we're after here. Well, hopefully he's not too big. He might be too big. God bless it. One too small, one too big. <laughs> well, we can go up to 132 pounds, so... Let's see here. <sighs> this is fighting like a dog tooth. Oh boy. Yeah, he might be too big. Oh man. This is not gonna be easy.
unique at Japanese Amberjack. Not bad. And he is just the right size. 80 pounds. He fits the category. 1 out of 7. 10,413 cash. 12,771. Man, he's a lot of XP. That's a nice fish. Yeah, I don't think I've gotten a unique Japanese Amberjack. I think I've gotten the greater, but not the Japanese. Let's see if we can get a picture of him. There's a better one. All right. Yeah, I think that completed another species type. Yeah, we we just knocked out two of them. So we were at ten. We have eight more to get. All right. Well, we are on our way. I think it's just going to be a matter of keeping at it. I don't know how fast it's going to go, but... Uh, well, the last one, it went pretty fast. Let's just go ahead and put this in here, set that up, just like we had it. Get this out. I still think we could probably get one with a poker. We did get a bite, we just didn't get him to connect for some reason. Be awesome to get the unique Joe fish. Maybe they bite better on cloudy days, it's hard to say. Oh, we do have another one. Okay, I don't... No, he might be big enough. Not as big as that last one, that's for sure, but... See how big he is. Oh, he's just shy. Narrow bar mackerel, 36 pounds. He needs another 8 pounds to count. Maybe a little less than 8 pounds. Well, let's try throwing it over here, get a little bit of a... Maybe a different one or something. Surprisingly, the pilking is not producing anything this time. Yeah, we seem to be having a lot more luck with the bottom rod. But this is not a big fish. Wow, we are just getting the Joe fish like crazy right here. Yeah, I think I might upscale my hook a little bit here. Let me see here. Yeah, if I'm getting ones that small, we could definitely go larger. Let's go with the 12. Let's see here. What was that other lure that I had? Yeah, the squid jig. I think it might be too small to use on this. Yeah, it's too small. Seven, eight ounce. It might work on some of these other rods, but not this one. Well, let's try one more of these 
pilkers and see if we can't get some more luck with it. Let's try this single hook pilker. It's really colorful. Maybe it'll attract a little more attention. There we go. That's uh, about time. Maybe I just needed a little more color. How big is this fella? Oh, seriously? Still just a little too small. This is not going to be easy. Yeah, I'm sure the next one's going to be monsters, but I think... Small ones, and then monsters are the easiest to get. It's these middle mid-range that are hard to get. All right, we finally got a bite. Took us a little while. I'm not sure he's going to be big enough. He is. So it's a greater amberjack. Got him off the double hook poker. Did that off the surface. Seems to be working a better a little bit off seems to be working a little better off the surface than deeper for getting these species that are right in between. Well that's two of seven. Yeah, we really need to get into a peak. I think that would probably seriously increase our catch rate. Let me see here. We could... Yeah, see, we're down way out of the peak here now. Let's go to 3 a.m. And we'll go into the secondary peak at this point as well. Now, none of these are night lures, so I don't think that makes a difference. The fish still seem to be able to see them. At least they should at night. There we go. Took long enough. And this one is... Oh boy. He's got some oomph to him. He might be too big. Yeah, he might be too big. I don't know. We'll have to see as we get him in closer. Yeah, it's probably one of those dog tooth tuna. Yeah, I think we're only going to get three in this episode, guys. Try as we will. We're just going to get three. We are seriously running out of time, and this fish is taking off with it. He might be too big. 132 is too daggum big. And this fish is seriously holding his own. Can't seem to get him any closer. Yeah, this is this fish is too big. Well, we're gonna be fighting him for a minute because this guy is not coming in.
He just keeps taking it out to 140 feet. I might put this one down and see if I can. Because this one might fit the category here. The other one is not. Oh, he didn't, and I think I lost the other fish. Well, nope, he's, he's still on there. He's still on there. I thought for sure he would have got loose, but he is still taking this daggone thing out. I think we may have let his, got him to let his guard down, though. What the heck could this fish be? I'm still leaning towards dog tooth tuna. This is a big fish. Yeah, you usually don't see him this big this close to shore, but this guy is huge. He just took it way back out past 100 feet again, and... He is n still not tiring. Nope, he's going to do it again. Here he goes. Mm -mm. Well, guys, we're going to be at this for a while, I think. I don't know what he is, but he is seriously not one to get caught. Several boring minutes later. Well, that's the closest I've gotten yet, yeah, but I'm not counting on getting him in any closer. He's got to be some kind of unique of some kind. Down to 30 and all the way back up to 50 in just a second. We got him. What is this thing? Another unique greater amberjack. Well, I had I knew it had to be a unique something, but he's too big. <laughs> Way too big. I knew that. I knew that from the very beginning. Shoot. Boy, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Well, I'm going to end up having to do this off screen. But I did manage to catch two uniques here, guys. In one little session here. Got a unique. Japanese amberjack, a unique greater amberjack. So we didn't do we didn't do bad at all. Not bad at all. How much cash did we get? Not a lot of cash, but then we were going after small species early on. 
Well, we'll keep at it, guys. I'm going to have to bring you back with another episode, but if anything interesting gets caught, I'll let you know. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>